Hello, and welcome to the Lead Center's September Huskers in the Spotlight concert. This month's episode of our live stream concert series featuring special performances from UNL students and alumni. Each month, we'll introduce a new artist, listen to some of their music live, and hear from them directly as they tell the story of who they are and who they want to be. We'll be live on the last Tuesday of every month at noon, so mark your calendars. We have an awesome lineup of artists this fall, and we're closing off September with an indie funk band that performs original music. The band was formed in the summer of 2018 and has since played frequently throughout Lincoln and Omaha, including the And This Is 2020 Music Festival at Sokol Auditorium. The band is comprised of five very talented UNL students whom we are very lucky to have with us today. So please help me welcome them. We have Madeline Reddle on vocals, Ben Stewart on keys, Noah Ghost on guitar, Ellie Stone on bass, and Jonah Payne on drums. Live from the Lead Center, give it up for Past Casual. My soul for you, my love is overflowing, exploding and smoking. Tell me what you are really looking for. Don't get ice or light up. Full moon rising, my passion is my pain, a mystery and Between silver leaves we lie Power My soul rising My ambition is bleeding I'm nothing. Come on In, in towards you Whisper soft honey words In my ear The hour Has come for you To tell me what I'm doing Oh you are who I'm doing You know that I'm who you're looking for. Space hangs or gently above that dream line. And say you love me, and I will stroke your side. In between silver leaves, we lie. Man, you guys are on fire. It's so great to hear live music. I, I, I love that. And <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Um, you know, that was the the first song I heard, Pilot, when uh, when we were looking into you guys. 
to 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 bring you guys onto the Huskers in the Spotlight concert series. And I have to give a shout out to Sapphire Toth, our new education intern here at the Lead. She was just raving about you guys, and as soon as I, I was like, "This is this is it. We have Thank to bring you. them. They're going to be." Um, but you know, one of the things that I I found really inspiring, and I and I thought was really incredible about you guys is that there's so many different people from so many different majors. You know, I know Ben from out from outside the music school and everything. So I think it's really cool how you guys all come together. Can we hear a little bit more about that story? Yeah. Um, I know. Do you want to talk a little bit? <laughs> yeah so um basically the group started in the spring of 2018 um, it was for a fundraiser that i was doing for a friend of mine also one of ben's friends and we really wanted it to be just this big ordeal with live music and a lot of art and other fun things and so we were reaching out to a couple local bands and then we just realized that we could just play the music ourselves. Um, and we had been wanting to make a band since we were in elementary school, uh, Ben and I. And so um, through our different connections in the music, and also he worked at Deets Music at the time. And so we formed, um, I think at the time it was a sextet. We also had a saxophonist <laughs> with us. Um, and so, yeah, we Wait, formed when, that group. When, was, when, was, when did you guys have this sextet? I didn't hear about this earlier. Um, Technically, the original group was a sextet. Uh, like, well, how old were you guys? Uh, well, this was technically at that 2018 performance. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Um, it was our friend Drake. Um, hello, Drake, if you're watching this. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, he would play saxophone, um, and he would solo over the songs usually because we were, we were more uh, focused on jazz, I'd say, okay. at that time. Um, but yeah, now it's morphed into just a quintet. Okay. So we met uh, Ellie through a jazz combo. I met Madeline music school. So yeah. That's awesome. Um, so it wasn't past casual then. Like when, when, where did past casual come from? When did you guys officially become past casual? Yeah. So freshman year, we were all kind of like in the music school, had all the classes together. You know, as pretty, one as a music student does. Yeah, pretty, yeah. <laughs> pretty fun bunch. Westbrook High. <laughs> yeah, to kind of like get out our angst. We're like, we need to start a band. And <laughs> <laughs> um, so freshman year, I had this notebook, and every time I'd have an idea, things in it. But I had this two, these two pages that were solely for band name ideas, and so there was just like, I don't know, fifty or more band names just like scrawled everywhere on the notebook, and we kind of we had to decide which one which name it was going to be and there's some really bad ones um, can, can we hear what the what the worst yeah, one was yeah there was like cat plastic and <laughs> smoky smoky jam and A smoky some, jam. some like just you know really cringe ooh transition from high school to college you're just getting yeah, the, right. the the, the yeah. Ends out. <laughs> yeah so we settled on past casual it's kind of we want to be casual have fun um and it kind of sounded the best out of all of them. So, and I think Jonah came up with the name specifically. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Like, I had that whole notebook of 50 names, and you're like, well, what about this? And I was like, closed. <laughs> uh, so it didn't even come from the notebook. It was well, just spontaneous. It, we were, we were, we, we did write it down somewhere. In there. Okay. The notebook was all the bad ideas. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, you got to you got to get through all the bad stuff for the good stuff. There you go. I I, I completely agree. <laughs> well, um, you know, do you have a couple more songs for us that we'd like yes, to hear? Yes, um, we have a new song. This next song is called Treetops, and it'll be featuring Eric Espinoza. Woo! On the drums. Um, we wrote this um, over a few weeks, um, and so we hope you enjoy. Dice is soft, sweet as the Platte River. Honey bees when they sing. Trees still green, will your leaves fall? 
how many steps to the depths of my soul. killing it out here you know i i have to i'm i'm the entire audience of course because of social distancing so i'm trying i'll give you guys all the hype that you deserve <laughs> but i hope you guys are clapping now um that's that's such a an interesting song like what the tr treetops would you mind like letting us know kind of where did that come from yeah as, as so the lyricist yeah in the group. um so i write all the lyrics for the band and um I mostly mostly focus for all my lyrics on lots of visuals and metaphors for things. Um lots of imagery of nature I think is in a lot of my writing. Um so treetops I guess it's about kind of the unsettlingness of our time and how just like seeking peace within nature, but you know, is that peace really gonna be there? if you know treetops are falling down so it's also like a metaphor for persevering through life but also a metaphor maybe for like saving the earth <laughs> i don't know um yeah but i i completed writing the lyrics last night so there you remembered go. all Woo! of them just good. <laughs> on the grind <laughs> so yeah most of my lyrics um either with like love or nature um i just really find those types of words coming out of me most mostly yeah that's awesome so uh lyrics what what does the collaboration then look like when you're bringing do you write the lyrics first does the music get written first what does that look like yeah so usually in our songwriting process and jonah can jump in here as well um we write the music first and usually jonah come or whoever else in the group comes with a musical idea 
and we kind of develop that idea. And after kind of that's hashed out a little bit, or we have an idea of what the song is going to be, um, that's where I come in, and I kind of take what they have, feel out the form, feel out what the song emotions are, what the mood is, um, and kind of create a melody over top of it and write lyrics to kind of fit the vibe and then pull with the song. So it's not me over here the melody and then a whole other song, but hopefully finding the two. Yeah, that, that's awesome that you guys can take two completely different brains, put them together, and, and, and kind of the creating happening individually, and it's still get this holistic piece that that runs together really well and i think that's definitely a sign of your guys success as a group um and and, and as, as a writing team so that's that's really awesome um the other thing one of the other things i noticed was that you know on gram it says indie funk on the Nebraska, and i think ben said that you guys are jazz pop so there's a you know you have a bunch of different um musical styles and genres that that meet in your guys's music so does that come naturally to you guys? Where where do you guys find that inspiration? Yeah, so um, that's a really good question about the musical styles. Um, we were talking that, a bit that's earlier. That's DBK for me. Now <laughs> Glencore School of Music. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were talking a little bit about this earlier, but uh, it's definitely really hard to put a label on our music just because we use influences from so many different artists. I know we all come from completely different backgrounds and we all listen to very diverse music. Um, so definitely it's jazzy. And like I mentioned earlier, it kind of started more as a jazz group, especially when we had a saxophonist soloing on every piece. Um, <laughs> but um, we still use jazz harmonies for sure, which you'll definitely be able to hear. Um, but it definitely is a little bit pop-like because you can definitely dance this music and the melodies and cry to the music. <laughs> yeah, dancing and crying, the two, the two. Um, the but yeah, they're need. definitely punk influences. Of course, throwing the steel pans and all that just, I mean, I, I don't even know what to call it. But we, we definitely <laughs> don't write with any genre in mind. We just write music that sounds good to us. and. Now that we kind of have a core collection of original songs, now it's more like, okay, let's find a song that somewhat matches with these genres. I don't know what that is, but let's find a you know, similar sound to those previous songs. So Yeah. And I love the creative because that's your own brand. That's your it's what we can not like me um hear from you guys. But I one of the things I think is really cool is is the steel pans. You know, I've never seen that in a band before. Is that just yeah. something that you guys you have the experience and you're like, this is what I want to do, or what well, was that about? I guess um, Jonah's just really good at steel pan, <laughs> and <laughs> and we it just has such an amazing timbre and sound coming out of it, and, you know, I just, we've never really seen a band incorporate steel pan in this way, so it just has a really beautiful sound, and Jonah in a steel pan class. So I learned a little oh, wow. bit how to play steel pan. Um, so maybe in the future I can hop on those bad boys. Yeah, I think for the last two songs you guys should swap. Oh, and Jonah can jump on vocals and you can. Um, but yeah, steel pans are just such an amazing instrument. Um, and UNL has a really great percussion department. And so students are able to learn really cool instruments like steel pan. And people who aren't, who aren't in percussion, like me, have the opportunity to learn such a unique instrument incorporate this in the band and yeah it, it sounds really fun i like it <laughs> yeah yeah it really contributes to your guys sound um okay so last question kind of before you guys finish up your set where you know with, with covid you guys are pushing through you guys are performing at live streams i think this is like the second one i think that you guys have been performing at um what do you guys see for yourselves you know in the next year or so yeah so unfortunately everyone knows that covid has kind of put a damper on the arts so, you know, for keep pushing through and having artists come. Um, but for us, um, really focusing on creating new music because we can still do that 
as well as recording music. So we can record the music that we already have um, and make it more accessible to people to listen to on their phones um, and wherever. So I think um, recording our music is a major goal and continuing to create way more music. And then when COVID is over, fingers crossed, eventually yeah hopefully <laughs> we can like hope get back out there and just be you know ready to go for the world everyone's going to be like i need to see live music and then <laughs> we're going to be like we're here <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's our major well i will definitely be one of those people saying we're here so <laughs> exactly. i'll be there to see on the first show i promise oh. um but yeah so you know before we go can we uh hear a couple more songs that you have for us yeah, so this next song also incorporates Steel Pan. Mona and I wrote this for a technology and art that was held at the Emerging Media Arts Building last fall. Um, it was just us, so uh, at the beginning, just me, Steel Pan. And then we kind of morphed it to the whole band because it just is a very moody, fun piece. Um, just about technology and how that affects um, our soul, I guess, and just like our place in the world. So that's basically what the song is about. And then the next song is called Half Forgotten Memories. And that's the songs that we wrote. And that one's a little gro really groovy. So you're sitting, eating your lunch, eating your salad. You know, you can, you can groove a little bit. No no shame. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're in your home, so no one yeah, can see yeah, you. So no can get see. up and dance. No one can see. <laughs> but I'll know. I'll feel it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this song is called Togetherness. Awesome. Well, I before you guys go, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and folks, I'm going to sit back and enjoy the rest of the stream. But if you've enjoyed Past Casual today, we encourage you to follow them and give like them on Facebook, and as well as the Lead Center's COVID-19 Relief Fund to ensure that the arts and programming like this remain an essential part of the Lincoln community. You can find the donation link on our website, www.leadcenter.org. We'd also love for you to join us next Tuesday at noon on Facebook and the Leeds website for our monthly video podcast, Lunch and Learn, the Leeds art video podcast. And we'll be taking an in-depth look at the art of fashion with celebrity personality and design icon, Brittany Hampton. And for more free live Huskers in the Spotlight concert, you can mark your calendars for the last Tuesday of every month. And October will bring Sean Labita, the classical pianist, but for now, past casual, the spotlight's all yours. Thanks, Ryan. You're awesome. <laughs> Push and pull of my morals 
Thank you. I don't know if I mentioned it, sorry, but um, that our new song that we had, we had Eric Espinoza on the drums. I don't know if I said that. Just want to give him credit because he did a really amazing job. So, um, Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having us. We are Past Casual. Um, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, see what we're up to, and also continue supporting. Thank you to the Weed Center for having us. This song and it's called Half Forgotten Memory.
Gang, 